we're gonna just trust in God and go from here. And yeah, this has been quite a shock to me and everyone. But whatever makes Jason happy is what makes me happy. And the prison just, he was just not happy there anymore. And I hated to see him like that. And he had worked so hard and he just felt defeated all the time. Say good morning. Good morning, Redbird. Good morning, Redbird. Good morning, Redbird. Gaga. What are you eating? And pop tarts. Pop tarts. Are they yummy? Look okay, at your sprinkles. crazy hair, girlfriend. Okay, sprinkles. You got crazy hair. And you got a mosquito bite right on your forehead. <clears throat> Did that mosquito bite you? Yeah. Did it Megan is eating lunch. Where's Rai Rai and Lolo? Ah. Ah. Summer swimming? Um. Ryan and Logan are at their summer swimming. Megan's eating lunch. My lunch is heating up. I'm heating up some leftovers from our 4th of July cookout. Megan, yes, still has on her pajama top, and she doesn't have on any undies or pull-up because we are trying the hardcore potty training where you can train your child in three days, and they say to leave them naked from the waist down, and every 20 minutes we are going and sitting on the potty. Sometimes she goes. Sometimes she doesn't. We haven't had any accidents on the floor or anything yet, so that's good. But I'm really having to like push hard now because Megan is two months away from starting preschool and she has to be 100% potty trained at preschool. So she's been so stubborn. Like some days she does real good and other days she just has accident after accident after accident. So we are trying this three-day method of trying to get her potty trained and crossing my fingers, hoping that it's gonna work. Hi guys, so this is where I'm spending most of my day in the bathroom with that cutie. I read the article about how to train your child in three days and it says the most important thing is to be consistent. So we just got done eating lunch and now we're sitting on the potty. And we'll sit here for a good five minutes or so and see if she goes. If she goes, yay. If she doesn't, okay, then we'll come back. And I've been setting a timer for like every 20 minutes to a half an hour. And then that's when we come back and sit back on the potty. Um, I am so determined by the end of this week to get her potty trained. And today is Tuesday, so mm -hmm. I'm hoping by the weekend that we will not need pull-ups anymore. So we're going to see how it goes. She's fascinated with the toilet paper. She keeps playing with it. Um, so I've never really pushed her and now I just feel like I need to and some people are going to think that's bad and I'm sorry but it's just one. For 10 years we have been buying pull-ups and diapers between our three kids so I've just, I'm done. And I know that she knows how to go because sometimes she'll do it. 
It's just she's being stubborn and I'm kind of babying her. And she's almost three and a half. And she starts preschool in two months and she has to be potty trained. So if you have any tips on how you potty trained your kids, I would love to know those down below. Um, because right now I'm just desperate. I really just want to get her potty trained. Um, both boys were already potty trained by the time they were her age. So it's been kind of frustrating, but... I just woke up this morning and said, you know what, this is what we're doing. I, if I have to spend the next week of barely going anywhere and just being with her constantly naked from the waist down and just spending a lot of time in the bathroom, then that's what we're going to do. What did you do that you got that? Um, in Daddy's bag. You got it out of the bin. Why? Because you went pee pee where? In the potty. Woo! Pee pee in the party. Pee pee in the party. Woo 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 woo. Pee pee in the party. Daddy's turn. Trying to get Megan to go pee pee. <laughs> I don't know where that hand's going. Go pee pee. Roxy, come here. Oh. It's called a, no, no, you can't, you can't eat the person in the video. It's just a video. You like it? What is going on here? Ah, Charlie bit me. <laughs> you mean Roxy? Ah, Roxy bit me. It tickles more than hurts. <laughs> It's so cute because she's so fluffy. What are you looking at me for? What are you looking at me for? Hey, what did you say yesterday she looks like? An Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Lola, hold her. No. The kids have been going crazy fighting over her. Oh, Lola, she love you. She liking yeah. you. Can she cuddling with you? What you guys doing? Watching a movie. Are you watching a movie with daddy? Yeah. Are you watching a movie with daddy? Show me your, show me your puppy boo -boo home. on your finger. Got my puppy home. Lolo had to go to the doctor because he had a wart. And they were freezing it off and this is what it looks like now. Huh? Hey. So I'm sitting here working on bills. And balancing the checkbook. And that's Roxy. She's like, Mommy, yell at me. Were you playing with the buffalo? Were you playing with the buffalo? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Were you playing with Sadie's buffalo? It's okay. It's okay. Hubby is now home from work. Hello everybody. I am now a GM Lordstown worker. This is your first week. And it went well. At your new job and it went well. And you'll make us some dinner. What do you make for dinner? Tacos. Homemade tacos. Bye everybody. <laughs> Look at my yummy dinner. Taco salad. This sleeping puppy right by my feet. Daddy cooked tacos. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You uh, like tacos? Uh, is this from Taco Bell? No, it's Daddy's tacos. He made them for you. Mm. Homemade tacos taste just like Taco Bell. Like Guys, I must be doing something right. It is 1.15 in the morning and Megan came running into my room. 
farting? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so Megan came running into my room and woke me up and said, I gotta go potty, I gotta go potty, I gotta go potty. And sure enough, we are on the potty and she is going to the bathroom. So I'm very proud of her that sh this potty training is kicking in and she is doing great. No accidents today whatsoever. Welcome potty. Get the Okay, finish going potty and we'll go back to bed. Good girl. want somebody to play with her. At least her and Sadie are getting along, huh? They're playing. Yeah. Aww. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. First person action. <laughs> Feels like you're jumping. Hi guys. Yay! Good job. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you were really close that time, Logan. Good job. Oh, I heard your hand hit it. What are you playing with your brother? Football. Catch. Oh, oh no, no. Yeah. Woo -hoo. I didn't spin wheel. Sadie, do you like the deck? She's like, I'm outside. I'm not on a leash. But how do I get out of here? Sadie, do you like the deck? Huh? Do you like the deck? I don't know if I showed you guys our new furniture, but we no longer have the sectional that was in that corner. We now have a new couch and love seat, which we absolutely love. And Ryan is going to demonstrate what they do. Recline, yay! And they have cup holders here, and then we put all of our remotes and stuff in there. This one is just a couch. It's a couch, and then it reclines too. And this could Four people. Yep, this one you could put two on each. And I went and got um, this end table with the built in lamp. I wanted to see what it would look like in the living room, and Jason and I both like it. So we're going to keep it, and now I need to get another one for on this end. And then I think this big lamp we're just going to put in the spare bedroom. So I'm going to get another one of those to go right there. And Jason also put in our new door. I love it with this. I really wanted the wooden door with the round, but it didn't come in the right size that our door is. It was um, a 36, I think, and this is a 32. And Jason didn't want to have to cut into the wall at all, so. We went ahead and went with the white one and I like it. Hi guys, I just wanted to have a little talk with you guys about the changes that we are experiencing in our lives. A few weeks ago, Jason came home from work 
and he had worked at the prison for 12 years. Recently, they lost their BOP contract. They still have a U.S. Marshal contract, and they did lay off, um, I know, I think you said like 150 to 200 staff members. Jason was not one of those because he was higher in seniority, so his job was not in danger. Over the last couple months, he had just become unhappy with things that were going on at the prison. And he came home one day and he said, I was um, approached by a friend and I have been asked to go and work at General Motors as a supervisor. And at first I thought to myself, what? Because all he's ever really worked is he was a police officer and then from there he went to work at the prison so that's pretty much all we've known which is why you guys have just seen that he just went back to school for two years and finished his degree for criminal justice and now he's coming to me saying I think I'm gonna go work at General Motors whether I think it's right or wrong if that's what he wants to do I will support him so I said okay go ahead so we gave us two week notice at the prison and it was really shocking. Um, I mean, it was shocking to me. He just finished his work week. So far he likes it. And so that's what is going on. Um, at the prison, he was a salary pay. Um, at General Motors, they have overtime available, which is if you work Saturdays, it's time and a half. If you work Sundays, it's uh, double time. And he was already offered overtime for this Sunday, so he's going to work from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and get um, double time. We are kind of nervous because this is something new, but I know that no matter where Jason works and what Jason does, Jason will always be successful. Um, when he sets his mind of doing something, he does it. And I have no worries. We're going to just trust in God and go from here. And yeah, this has been quite a shock to me and everyone. But whatever makes Jason happy is what makes me happy. And the prison just, he was just not happy there anymore. And I hated to see him like that. And he had worked so hard. And he just felt defeated all the time. So this is our new journey. And I am excited to hear, you know, about how they build the cars and what's going on with the GM plants. And so like yesterday, they um, revealed the new um, cruise for 2016, Chevy Cruise. And so that was exciting, like when he came home and talked about it and whatnot. And... So yeah, Jason no longer works at the prison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.